All right, we're live. How's everybody doing? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you here from the art, from the car studio, not the art studio. I'm leaving the art studio to come to you to, to the car studio. Um, today is Marketing Tuesday, and I apologize for not being here earlier, running errands and all kinds of excuses. So... Uh, we're doing Marketing Tuesday now, okay? So, every day I come to you guys and talk to you guys with different different messages, right? Different messages about how I'm going through my artistic life, my professional life, uh, my personal life, too. I talk about my personal life, too. And what that means how things are working for me, what's working, what's not working, and on and on and on. I talk about, on Mondays I talk to you guys about having your the right mindset, right? It's so important. It's just, uh, it's extremely important to have the right mindset. On Tuesdays, I talk to you guys about art marketing, everything to do with marketing. On Wednesdays, I talk to you guys about, um, about uh, art process. I create artwork and I show you guys a bit of my art process. Thursdays, I do Thursday Cafecito with my wife. We talk about working in a partnership, which by the way, it's very challenging, but it's more challenging to work by yourself. So, it's even more challenging to do things by yourself. So, that's how it is. Uh, today, Tuesday, I think today's Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. It's about art marketing. So, what is the what is the, the thing about marketing? Well, guys, if, if you don't do marketing, nothing happens. So, I don't know what to tell you. Like, when, when people are like, what should I do? How much should I do? It's it, Those are not even the questions, you know? They, 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 there shouldn't even be a question about art marketing. There should be nothing, nothing about art marketing uh, that brings about questions. The problem is obscurity. It's always been the problem. Everybody has that problem. Any any professional or anyone trying to make anything, for that matter, anything, get anything to the marketplace, uh, whatever, it will require. It will require someone hearing your message, listening to you. It will require someone, uh, not someone, right? Many people. It will require many people. And this is this is where many people go wrong. Many artists out there. I know a lot of artists out there go wrong. When we try to do some marketing, we do just uh, just enough. To feel like we did a lot, yeah, you know, just enough marketing. I don't know what that is, but but most people just you know kind of put something on Facebook, uh, put something on Instagram here and there, a couple of YouTube videos maybe. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest, guys. How's it going? If if you're not aggressive in your marketing, that word, right? That word, aggressive. It's not even worth doing. Like, I totally get when people say, marketing, you know, I've been trying this and it doesn't work. I've been trying this and it doesn't work. I've been trying that and it doesn't work. I totally understand. Of course it's not going to work. How in the hell is it going to work if you're trying it? Not, nothing you try works. I try to be a good dad and it didn't work. Of course it didn't work. It can't work. Nothing that you try works. I try to be a good husband. I try to be a good business owner. I try... No, of course. It's, it, there's no way in hell it's going to work. As soon as I hear the words, I try, I hoped, I wanted to, I wished, I did some of that. When I hear people say, oh, I, I did some of that. Oh, I tried some of that. It's like, this This ain't no buffet, man. This is not a buffet. Like where you go and you try something and you're like, oh, let me see if this works. And then you try and you're like, ah, oh, no, it didn't really work. 
Of course not. N n nothing is going to work that way. So, so I, I don't know if I'm, I'm starting to, 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 uh, to come off as the aggressive artist. I don't know. Some people, some people say that I'm a bit aggressive uh, with the way that I talk. But look, guys. If if you're if you're putting one thing on Facebook, one post on Facebook, I will I will urge you, don't do it. Do something else. I don't know. Go play go play a video game or do something else. Like don't don't do it. Why waste your time with it? it it's not going to work. Like it's not even it's not even going to create any impact. You would probably have to do it for I don't know a hundred years to maybe for, <laughs> to maybe for something some some impact to happen. Now, I'm talking if you're doing it daily, okay? Not if you're doing it once a week. If you're doing it once a week, you, you should definitely, like, like just do something else completely. But if you're doing Facebook every day, you're posting a little something on Facebook, I, I'd rather have you not do it. Like, like, don't even do it. What for? There's no point in it. I know some people say that it works and that people follow them and that they create engagement. I promise you, if you, if you are creating engagement... In, in Facebook uh, Sorry I can't read the comments right now guys As, as I am in the car studio uh, But I will get back to you guys With, with uh, responding on the comments But if, if you're putting something on, on On Facebook I don't know Once or twice a day Maybe once a day I know a lot of artists out there put one thing a day And then they, they talk about their painting And they talk about their thing You know, I, I promise you guys I promise you this. If you put two or three, the ten people that were following you and commenting on your on your on your awesome post, seven three will leave and seven will stay. If you put three or four a day, post different post, uh, probably the remainder seven will leave you and sporadically will come back to you every now and then. This is, this is otherwise known as the resistance. This is called the resistance. In marketing, this is a very, a very uh, well-known thing. Every time that you come at the market aggressively, you will lose followers. And this is why people don't want to do it. Okay? But please understand this, guys. The people you're losing were not your followers to begin with. They, 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 they were just comfortable with you showing up every now and then. I don't know how to say this, but you need to be obsessed and aggressive in your, in your communications. And I don't know what that is for you. This doesn't mean that you have to be a maniac like like the way you act or, or you have to be screaming. No, no, no. What I mean by that is that is that look, Arnold, muscle Arnold, didn't get like that because he was doing one rep or two a day. You know, he didn't he he, he didn't get to be Mr. Wow, Mr. Universe. Because he showed up once a day. And went for a, for a hike or for I don't know <laughs> for hey, did a couple of reps a, a couple of setups or something. He he got like that because he got more obsessive than everyone else. Hi Nicola, I'll I'll check out the paintings. I'll check out your paintings. Uh, I'll check out your painting totally. So. It's this, it's this thing, you know, in marketing, it's this thing where, where, where people get confused about the amount of work they have to do. Now, when I talk about marketing, look, here's what I'm trying to say, guys. It doesn't matter what you do. That's why I'm not, that's why I don't touch on any, any, any particular. And I will, I will talk to you guys about particular things and how to go about them. But in the beginning, because I know that 99% of people are, one, they're not doing marketing. And two... If they are, they're not doing enough of it, okay? They're not doing it right. They're not doing it right. There is a right way of doing marketing, guys. There is a right way. There is a right way of doing marketing. 
and most people don't even do marketing much less do it right it doesn't matter what you're doing it doesn't matter if you're doing instagram it doesn't matter if you're doing facebook youtube whatever you're doing there is a right way of doing it by by saying there is a right way i'm not talking about there is a a a uh, perfect way or there is a a, a script to follow or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying at all. When I say that there's a right way, I'm saying that there is a right action. There is a, there's a type of action that you must take if you want to win at the whole marketing thing. There's a set of actions that need to be, that need to be done if you want to win at the marketing thing. Almost nobody wins at the marketing thing. Very few people, very few businesses I've worked. I've worked with small businesses before and almost nobody's doing it right. Almost nobody's doing it. And very few people are actually doing it right. The way to do marketing, guys, is to do it aggressively. Everybody wants to do a knockout. Everybody wants to wants to go viral. Everybody wants to get famous out of one punch, you know, a knockout. Uh, that's not how marketing works. That's how something, maybe something gets launched or, you know, that's awesome. Uh, usually the people that you see someone going viral, guys, because they put in a lot of money into that video or into that whatever that is. And some of them, very few, a very small number actually happened organically and and you can't bet on those things you can't bet on the on the organically thing how's it going stevonix how's it going lopez so you can't you can't really bet on on the whole going viral or organic little thing you know that you that you created when I when I was working with a couple of small businesses uh, it was just it was part of my job we were trying to help them uh, launch a marketing campaign I learned a lot because I, I wasn't putting it together I was working with someone else this 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 guy was uh, was was the expert right I was learning from him and it was just amazing it was an eye-opener for me to see the amount of push that you need to do in order to break just just to break through the noise you know just to break through the noise through the noise of of the world, the world is noisy. And there's many. There's certainly many ways of doing marketing. There's 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 the the very precise, uh, uh, what it's called a a a, a uh, what do they call it? When you pull, you know, it's attraction marketing. Some people call it attraction marketing. Uh, that's really cool. It's very sophisticated. It usually involves like all this cool stuff like funnels and, and whatnot. That's very cool. Usually that type of marketing involves a lot of uh, uh, money in there. You have to you have to you have you have to be able to buy ads and, and do certain certain things uh, for the ones that are winning. Anyways, I've, I've looked into some of the ones that are that are winning and, and they put a lot of they put a lot of a lot of cash in there. And, and certainly, I mean, you have to, right? And it's proportionate to how much how much they're winning, of course. But most people starting out, they don't have that amount. They don't have, they don't have like you know deep pockets where they can just pour cash into a, a marketing campaign. So what do you do if you're an artist and you're trying to get your name out there and whatnot? You gotta you gotta do the you gotta do the 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 marketing that nobody wants to do. It's the sweat equity <laughs> marketing, just the, the the knocking on a door, the writing an article, the the showing up on, you know. It, the funny thing is that is that no matter how sophisticated you get in marketing or whatever, I, I I've noticed this. It always it's a combination of pull and push. It's a combination of pull and push. In the beginning, you just do a lot of push, right? But then you start getting smart about it, and you start understanding what you know this the. Uh, the Certain funnels, exchanging information for, for, for email, and, and on and on and on, and you start doing some of the pool, but you can't really, you can't really, re you can't sustain on either one. Both are needed. If you pay attention to any of the gurus out there doing it, uh, 
they have to go do speaking gigs they have to go push too it's not there's a lot of push happening push means physical guys that's what i'm talking about when i mean push there's a lot of physical it's not necessarily automated there's a lot of marketing out there that's automated there's like like i personally use something called hootsuite uh which is an automation that that you know you you, you create your content you put it together and then you schedule it to come out, you know, at certain times and whatnot. I use that, but at the same time, I'm also I'm also uh, getting back to people, writing on 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 comments on on YouTube, getting back to people on YouTube. It's so funny because every time I depend on one, I I, I get my ass kicked. I can't depend on one. I, I have to depend on, on on all of it. It's all of it. And I can never put my finger on what's working and what's not. And I've done it before where I, I, I talk to this marketing agency and they're like, no, this is all you have to do. This is what you got to do and on and on and on. And then uh, I started doing that and I had a, uh, I went and I talked to a, to a mentor. I respect this guy a lot. And, and he's like, no, dude, you're going to get your ass kicked. Like, do that and and be physical about it. Be aggressive physically. Like, answer back to people. Talk to people. Pick up the phone. You know, you got to do it all. Write articles. You can't just automate it. No no single form, formula is going to work. You got to do it all. It's dynamic. So that's one of the things that I learned. Marketing is dynamic, really. It's, 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 not, it's not a push and go thing. And I know that for a lot of people it is. And, and and the reason why it is, guys, I, I want to tell you, it's because many people have deep pockets and it becomes a, a, a push and go. But even if it's that, things change. You know, things are always changing. Facebook right now, it's not going to be Facebook two or three years, you know, from, from, from now. Instagram is not going to be the same. The people that got in early on the Instagram game, all they had to do is follow a bunch of people, right? The people that got, that, that, that got all the, the, the followers, that's how they start. They, when, when it's when it's uh, when a platform is new, people know how to how to how to play in it when it's new. It's 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 follow for follow. It's like for like. When something is new, it's free for all. You know the 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 the, the it, it's it's in a good place. Everybody gets to play. When it gets starts getting older, then it becomes more difficult. To start playing the game now you have to now you have to really put in uh, uh, a lot of a lot of effort much more effort in the beginning it's a lot of effort of course right you have to be liking liking like you remember that on Instagram everybody just like 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 follow 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 and then you know and then people follow you back and and that's how it worked now because algorithms change and this and that or they create algorithms for their pages because they're gonna have to start monetizing the pages so they start getting much more sophisticated we start getting much more, and I think it's an incentive. In the beginning, when 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 everybody gets to play the game, it's a uh, it's an incentive that these platforms do, right? They they it's sort of coupons, right? Everybody gets to play. We're gonna allow everybody to to have followers and to and to have uh, top engagement and maybe to be featured. They feature people right away in the beginning, right? In the very early stages of a platform, and then things change. And then only the ones that have the most pool, the most following, start start rising to the top, like phone, right? So, what am I? Why am I saying all of this? Not to discourage anyone from the game, but to make you understand, hopefully, and make myself understand. Because shit, I forget this stuff all the time. Look, the market is a noisy place. And the way to penetrate it, because you have to penetrate it, is to be aggressive with it. You're either pulling or you're pushing or you're doing a combination, but you're going to have to do a lot of it. That's why I say, look, if you're just, if you're posting something on Facebook and you're posting one, one of, well, a little painting there, like, don't even do it. Just take it down. Do something else with your time. It's, it's not, this is the reason why stuff doesn't work. That's exactly the reason why stuff doesn't work. It, it can't work. I bet you if you're, if you're, again, if you're, if you have 10 people liking and commenting on one of your pictures, because you're posting something every day, I almost, I could almost bet you, if you put two posts, you're going to lose, you're going to lose half of those people right away. If you put three or four, 
you're definitely going to lose them. You're going to start losing them all. The funny thing is that you're going to start gaining new ones. And it's a wash. It's a wash. You lose some, you gain some. You lose some, you gain some. You know, because most people don't want to hear you all the time. Most people don't want to listen to you. Most people don't want to hear your message. Most people don't want to see you all the time. And that's perfectly fine. And there's a there's a there's a perfect reason for that. It's a it's it's a it's a, it's a perfect explanation for that. It's the resistance. It's like listening to a song. You listen to it, you're like, oh this this fucking song again, right? And you turn it off. And then the song comes out again and you're like, oh man, I hate this song. Before you know it, you're gonna start humming it. When you least expect it, you're gonna be in a club dancing to it. Because first we resist it. It's new. We resist everything that is new. This is this is the the I guess it would be the holy grail of marketing is consistency and persistence. You want to be consistent, not at the message, okay? Not at the message. At the at at how much of it? How much? You got to be consistent. If you're putting 10 10 Facebook posts a day like be consistent with it don't put 10 one day and two for the next 10 days and then oh 10 another day it's not gonna work you need consistency you need the volume but the consistency even if you're just putting five it doesn't matter be consistent and start adding to it and you need to, you need to, you, need, you need to be persistent with it okay it needs to continue to happen not just consistency right the same but persistent you need to keep showing up keep showing up and keep showing up sooner or later the wall is going to start breaking sooner or later people are going to start listening to your message there is no other choice people will start listening to your message and then they will decide whether they like it or hate it you know and and if they like it cool if they don't cool you're gonna find i mean there's people for everything you're gonna find people that 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 i on on youtube it's so funny because i've been doing this on youtube and i have people that tell me dude you're the most obnoxious person ever right Bye. And then I have people that are like, you changed my life. <laughs> you have a new subscriber. <laughs> it, it's just one of those funny shits, right? Because it's it's life. But I've, I've, I'm understanding that that I I cannot get to new people unless I, I do volume. There's, there's this thing that most people are afraid of. It's volume. And the reason why is because we're being conditioned to please everyone, you know? We, we we want to we want people to like us and that is the problem when it comes to marketing you you that's not your job your job is not to get people to like you in selling in selling maybe okay in selling I would agree that people have to like you otherwise people people you know when, when it comes to selling something but in marketing that is not your job your job is not that you, you can even polarize your audience if you want to as long as you're persistent and you're consistent about it, you can, I mean, you could be taught, you could be the, 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 the artist who, who, who hates artists <laughs> and you're going to talk about why you hate artists. <laughs> and I promise you, you'll get, you'll get a substantial amount. You'll get half of the world liking you, you know, you'll get half of the world. So. Every time we talk about marketing, I, I try to I try to express this this point. Look, you can't do one thing, guys. You have to do multiple things, and this is something that's been kicking my ass over and over. I mean, I, I told you I talked to this mentor, and he, and he's like, dude, you're gonna get your ass kicked if you're just doing one thing. If all you're doing is doing Facebook ads or Google ads, or it's you're gonna get a high. You're gonna you're gonna tap into something cool and whatever. But sooner or later, that's going to change because things do change and you're going to have to stay on top of it. And I've even seen some people that, that were just doing organic or, or some people that were just doing paid. And, and I find them cross, you know, cross marketing, doing, well, that's not necessarily cross marketing, but, but doing, doing both things, doing both things, going organic and, getting, and going paid. And, and most artists in the beginning, we can't pay, right? Most, most artists can't pay. Most people can't. So what do you do? You got to write articles. How many should I write? I, get, I, got, I got someone that write me the email, an email the other day, and they're like, how many articles should I write? I don't know, like 
if you can, one a week. If you can, one a day. If you have the time, you know, one a day. Isn't that a lot? Yeah, that is a lot. But that's the whole point of it. You know, what what should I write about? I don't know everything and anything under the sun about art, about being an artist. What do you like about being an artist? What do you discover about being an artist? What's your process about art? What, what do you think about this painting? How do you feel about museums? You know, and on and on and on. It's endless. It's endless. And the creativity will, will only come out in the doing. It will not come out if, if you... If you, if you, you, you can't... This is, this is one of the things that, that I find the most interesting. You cannot be creative by organizing. Organizing will not create creativity. Never. Okay, so you can't organize first. You can't go and think about article titles first. It's not going to work that way. You got to go and start writing an article, and at the end, you'll find out what the title is. For most, most of the time. Uh, do LinkedIn. Do do uh, do Facebook. I don't know. Do do all of it. Do all of it. Do all of it, and you'll find out what you're better at. But keep doing the rest of them. Or where you engage, where people engage with you, you're going to find out where. It doesn't matter. Keep doing the rest of them. Keep doing them all. You want to be doing them all because because you don't know. For example, the other, what was it? A week ago. It was it was a week ago? Yeah. I was showing, I was showing a, a, a painting demo. And I, I almost never think I'm going to sell anything in any of them, right? It's very rare when I'm like, when I find out that I sold something from there. But the reality is that I'm always, I'm always creating sales or, or, or bridges or some sort of opportunity from just showing up. But I can't, I can't quantify it, right? I can't really measure it. I'm sure there's, there's, there's a, a technology out there to measure it. I just don't want to waste my time with it right now. You know, I, I, I just don't. It's, it's too complicated for me. I don't, it's not my, it's not my deal. By the time I'm looking at that, I'd rather do a video or I'd rather do something else. Uh, I'd rather keep moving. And I, I didn't used to be like this. I used to be the guy who wanted to find out the analytics first. I used to be that guy. But, uh, but I've been, I've been, I've, I've had my eye, my, my eye, my eye and my ass kicked a few times where, where now I know better what works for me. For me, it's just roll, just roll, roll, roll. And then figure it out later. So I sold a couple of paintings uh, on Instagram, right? And I had no idea until the person like like wrote to me and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm a big fan, blah blah blah. I bought I bought two paintings from you. I was like, whoa, you're the guy who bought, yeah, oh, that's awesome. Like, I don't, I don't know, right? Because I, I, I can't find out. And then, and then I talked about it, and then people are like, yeah, I bought your work before. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I told people about your work. And, and then I started finding out that people are buying the work, but I, I had no idea. Then on LinkedIn, you know, I got a message. Someone told me that they were the person who, who had uh, told a, a body to commission a painting from me. It, see, it's it's like it's all it's all interconnected. I just had no idea, you know. I, I don't know. I just believe that it's going to work. That's all. <laughs> like, well, you know, you you come out, you talk, you do something. Sooner or later, someone's gonna say, "Oh, I know that cat. I've seen him before. What does he do again? He's an artist." Oh, okay. Yeah, my sister was looking for an artist, or or my sister's decorating her home. You know, whatever. And, or I know a friend who collects art. You know, some shit like that. Something like that's gonna happen. And it's not, and that's not sophisticated at all, right? That's just kind of what's whatever sticks on the wall. I love that marketing. I, I'll bet more on that marketing than anything else. Reason why is because one of my mentors built his business that way, and I, I believe, I believe sweat equity over anything else. Even if people may be making dough, they be making money on on. On sophisticated marketing, uh, I much rather if I had to, if I had to choose. I mean, if I had to choose, I'd do both. But but if if I could just stick with one, if everything went away, Facebook, whatever it went away, I would stick with 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 uh, sweat equity marketing. 
push marketing. Any day. I have a brother who's a preacher. He goes around the world. He doesn't know shit about about if he if he heard me talk, right? Because I'm a I cuss like a sailor. <laughs> he goes all around the world. He goes to he, he goes to Rome. He goes all around the world to, to like do his preachings and all of that. He doesn't know shit about internet. Other than maybe I think he just discovered uh not long ago he discovered Facebook Live. And it's hilarious. Cause the dude does well for himself. But uh but that's that's all he does. How's it going, Kimberly? That's all he does. He just goes and he he it's all push. It's all there's a conference. I gotta go show up. It's this, it's that. It's uh I wrote another book. He, he's an author too. I wrote a book. Uh I gotta go do a podcast. I gotta go do a radio presentation. And it's the it's the most hilarious thing. Because he always did well. Ever since he was young, he always did well. And that's all he's ever done. Just push, 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 push. And and I I, I often wondered, I told him, man, if you knew some marketing, you know, if you if you knew some uh, internet stuff, you know, you'd probably do even better, you know, with your book sales and all of that. He's like, yeah, you know, people have told me, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, some people do it for me, but... But <laughs> anyways, I, I, I think you probably do much better. But the point is, is that if anything goes away or whatever, you always have push. If, if, if Facebook changes, if Instagram changes, that is not a reason not to market. I, I hear artists all the time saying, eBay is not what it used to be. No shit. It's going to change. Everything changes. You change. I change. We grow. The message changes. People have been telling me, you used to say this five years ago. Now you say something else. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm five years a new person. I'm five years older. I think differently. The way I see the world is different. How I perceive things are different. We're always changing. So your marketing, your marketing message, of course, is going to change. You know? Your core may not change or may strengthen more, more, more than likely, you know. Hopefully you're changing. If you're not changing, you're not growing, you know. Hopefully you're changing. So, look guys, if you're going to do any, any type of marketing, be, be aggressive at it. And I, 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 don't mean, I don't mean spam people. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about get, a, get a meme and share it a thousand times on Facebook. That's not what I'm saying. That's not, that's not going to get you anything. That's only going to get you, like, uh, angry faces. <laughs> angry little faces. Uh, and maybe one or two for a, for a little bit, and then everybody's just going to zone you out. That's not how it works. How it works is that you want to touch on different subjects. You want to touch different things. And then you want to move in hard with it. So, for example, being an artist, okay, you want to touch on the creation of artwork. Uh, the business of art, if you understand it, whatever you understand about it, maybe you don't understand about about how to sell anything yet. Cool, don't talk about that. If you don't understand it, uh, talk about uh, art materials. How do you feel about being inspired? When do you feel inspired? Artists, there's a bunch of artists. How do you feel about them? What's your What's your favorite art style? Art history, art news. There's all sorts of art news happening. You can talk about that. How does art impact your community? How does art impact the world? Art prizes in, in big auction houses and on and on and on. Man, this, this, it has no end. It has no end. You know, and, and, and you could be talking about all of this. Also, also, you could be DJing this whole thing. What that is, is that you go and you get someone else's, uh, you know. There's two ways of going about this. You can go get someone's from different sources. Like you could go to, to some art news website and get an article from there. And then you could go to the, the, I don't know, to YouTube and get a video from like, I don't know, from, from uh, the National Gallery or whatever. And then share that, right? And you could get a tweet from... Uh, I don't know, MoMA or whatever, and then share that. And you could be DJing that way. It's more laborious. That's the kind of shit I do. It's very laborious, actually. Uh, and I also share my content. 
I make my own content. I, I do about 70% DJing and 30% my personal content, like my videos, my artwork, my articles, my my stuff, my spiel. But look, I gotta make it simple to you. Help me help you, okay? Here it goes. Go see what I'm doing on Facebook and just share whatever I'm doing already. I mean, help, most of it is not mine anyways. So what does it matter, you know? And then this way you're sharing, you're sharing valuable content that I already took the time, my precious time and effort to, uh, to DJ and you're sharing it. Now, you, my little face is going to come out there. That's why I said, help me help you. But you're also going to be sharing the content. So there's a, there's a, there's a little, uh, there's a little thing right there. For you guys who are not sure how to go about the whole stay. See, the whole point is that you want to you want to stay on top. You want to stay on top. You want to stay in front of people. Not on top necessarily, but in front of people. You want to stop top of their mind, right? You want to be in front of people. Why? Because when it's time to engage, who are they going to engage with? It's proximity. This whole effing world works with proximity. That is why. People are having such a hard time. I know this is a touchy subject, but that is why so many people in the world, especially here right now, we're seeing it in the United States, are having such a difficult time with jobs and job creation and whatnot, all that kind of stuff. The reason why I believe, I'm not an economist, this is just my personal spiel, that shit's happening. Industries are going away and, and people can't, can't seem to understand new industries, aka the internet. Uh, it's because proximity is no longer close, right? The, the whole thing is proximity, guys. You married someone who was close to you. You didn't go and marry someone from, I don't know, from South Africa or from England. Or maybe you did. I don't know. But again, it was proximity. You had to go there, right? You had to be next to it. You have to be next to the person. You have to be close. Most people have the jobs they have, have the careers they have, have the you know spouse they have, have the life they have because of proximity. Have the and this is this is why uh, industries are going away. I know this is a whole other subject, but it's because people don't people people don't know that the new proximity is internet. That's why the new proximity is no longer I walk to my job. My job is in my town. It most sadly, right? I know it's a very, it's a very devastating thing. It's changing. The world is changing. It's been changing for the last 50 years at least. And now we're really feeling the, the effects. But it's no longer, it's no longer that way. It's no longer I have my, my, you know, my mom and pop store. Now you have Walmart, right? You can't really have your mom and pop store unless, unless you give tremendous amount of value and customer service it's very difficult or you know yeah value or customer service some sort of customer service where, where you know everybody's name and people just freaking love you and they just want to shop with you because because you're the expert uh, but it's proximity the whole thing is proximity I my, one of my mentors told me dude look you want income with from your artwork you gotta get you got to become close, as close as you can. You got to rub next to the income. Where is the income? You got to rub next to it. You have to create proximity. I know so many artists who are like, man, I'm not selling my artwork. I'm not selling my artwork. Well, are you, are you showing it? Are you showing it first? And how close are you to the customer? How close are you to the customer who's willing to pay? What is the proximity between you, your artwork, right? You, what is the proximity between your artwork and someone who can pay for it? No, I did show it. I showed it once. When? This week. Okay, cool. That is proximity, but it's not really proximity because, because it's, it's, it's very little, right? You have to constantly be showing. This is what I'm talking about, staying on top of mind, people. You have to constantly be showing your artwork, yourself, your message, your ideas, your 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 spiel. Right? You have to constantly be showing it so that people in turn start talking about it, 
Start sharing it. Start engaging. And therefore, your your the likelihood, the likelihood, or the like. What what what, what word should I use here? It will become the opportunity will get bigger, guys. The opportunity will get bigger for you to show the work, to, for, for someone to raise their hand and say, yeah, I want that painting. Let me buy it. You know, can I, can I buy it? I want that painting. You probably have to go through thousands of people. This is why, this is why when I put something on Facebook, I used to think like this. I'm going to go and spend a hundred bucks on, on, on Facebook and I'm going to sell a painting. You may not sell anything. As a matter of fact, go, go, go burn those hundred bones on Facebook and watch yourself sell nothing. Because it doesn't work that way, right? It doesn't work that way. You have to, you have to, you have to create constant, constant proximity, constant proximity, and that's why so many people develop very high end, very high end ways of marketing. Because the push, the constant, it's it's not going to work right away. It's going to take, but but it, it it also mean it also doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. You should continue to do it. Because sooner or later, that wall is going to break, right? But you should, you, I, that's the whole thing. I mean, you should do, you should do very high end or high end, whatever, or intelligent marketing, and you should do very blunt marketing. Also, there's going to be someone, someone wants me to go talk about art. Boom, there I go. That's very blunt. Nobody knows you. It's a cold call. Essentially, that's what it is. It's a cold call. Nobody knows me. They've never heard of me. They just want to fill in a spot. They want an artist to talk. And here I am. Somebody sees me. Somebody buys from you. Man, you just got lucky. Right? Maybe you're doing a few of those and you got lucky. But most likely, nobody's going to buy anything. Not even a print. Nothing. But someone's going to tell someone else. Hey, I like the way this cat talk. You know? Let's bring him over for the next show or whatever. Or I like the artwork. You know, maybe maybe you're doing uh, art art shows or whatever. Let's bring him over to the next art show. Let's invite him or whatever, right? Now you have two. Now you did two. Now you did three. Now you did four. Now you did ten, right? Now, now you've become, you've had proximity to it. That, that's why shit doesn't work, guys. I'm telling you. I used to think like this. I used to be like, man, I'm going to go and talk to ten people and see what happens. Ain't nothing going to happen. You talk to ten people, one of them, if they're being nice, will pay attention to you. That's why I don't stop doing these videos, guys. Because because I know. Like, I know. Like, like I'll talk to ten people. Maybe one will pay attention. Maybe one. But if I do it two, three times a day, okay? Just hear me out on this. Maybe you, maybe you can start doing it. If I do it two, three times a day, now I talk to 60 people in one day. Now I got three people to listen to me every day. Multiply that times 365 days of the year. Over a thousand people in one year actually paid attention to my message, actually shared my message, actually actually talked about it, told someone else about it. Is it worth doing? Why not? What 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 can I be doing? What what other thing should I be doing right now? Other than amping up and talking to people. And, 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 and getting getting close, getting close, getting that proximity to my me- to selling my message, my artwork, what I'm about. It's not it's not it's not the 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 it's not trying to get paid right away. Every time you try to get paid right away, you miss the point of, of the volume of work you need to do. This is why so many people don't 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 figure it out because you're trying to get paid right now, and that and there's certainly a time and a moment for that, and that works. But that's not every every work that you do. Um, you don't get paid. Like ninety percent of the shit I do, I don't get paid, guys. I promise you, ninety percent of the shit I do, I never get paid. Ninety percent of the stuff that I do. How's it going, little guy? Oh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, puppy. Okay, hi, Bye. I'm in, I'm in a live. Okay, put your your seatbelt on. Say hi to people. Hi, guys. I'm a stuffed animal. Yeah. 
So I'll leave you guys with that. I hope that you guys uh, found any value here in this long talks. I like to keep them long, some short. I am, I almost never make them short. You know, I like to make them as a as a as a podcast. This is really the, how I like it. You know, I like to make them as a, as, a, as if we're doing a a radio show or something. I imagine myself in a radio booth when I'm in the in the car studio. You know, some sort of podcast. Maybe you're working and you're just listening to me spiel some stuff, and you're agreeing or disagreeing with some stuff. I don't know. That's cool. maybe you're disagreeing with all of it. That's cool. You know, it's all good. It's all good. I just thank you for the opportunity you give me uh, to share to share this stuff with you. You know, and maybe maybe I maybe I get to help someone. I don't know. Maybe I get to help someone either by helping them advance in their career, whatever whatever they're going through, helping them realize something that they didn't know about you know being an artist, or or. Uh, Or uh, getting one of my art pieces. I don't know. You know, all of it has value. It's just uh, it's just a matter of of uh, what you find valuable. You know? Some people don't find my art valuable. They they find they find what I talk about valuable. Some people find don't find what I talk about valuable at all. They just want to see me paint. I do that too. I I I, I, I mix it up. It can't just be one thing or two things. I try to mix it because because uh, I, I think I have a shitload of value to give to the world, and you know, and I think I think everybody does. It's not just me, but I get to talk about it. So I think uh, it'd be a good thing, you know, maybe you start th talking about the, all, all the value you got as well and help the world. All right, guys, take care. I'll talk to you soon again. Goodbye.